Okay, we're here. We've just uh, clamped up a piece for the uh, next boat. We're working on some fur laminates onto a jig. Here's a couple of quick tips about uh, clamping on a jig is you need to make sure your jig is set high enough above the surface you're working on. And by that, I'm talking about I've got a half inch piece of plywood underneath here, and that's not enough room depending on where you position your clamps. If you've got really tall blocks you're clamping from, you'll have room, but on something small like this, you've got to give yourself enough room to get your hand under there and tighten the clamp. So what we ended up doing with this jig is uh, we moved it over closer to the edge of the table where there's plenty of space underneath to reach in there and uh, tighten and tighten the clamps up. Uh, there was another tip we were thinking, uh, let's see. Well, you got to check all the way through to make sure the, the piece isn't moving around. We got about halfway around and noticed that this end down here was starting to lift a little bit. So we eased off the clamps, uh, pushed it back down. Just had a little sacrificial piece of wood there, and we just took it and pushed everything down to get the laminates all lined up. And... Uh, then off we uh, off we went all the way around. Once again, you want to make sure you have some kind of poly film. We just uh, cut up a trash bag to put between the jig and the piece you're working on, so that uh, you don't have um, you don't glue your piece to your jig. I suppose you could take a little oscillating multi tool or something else and cut it off, but you'll destroy the jig and everything. The uh, everything else in the process except for maybe the workpiece. The also you may think, oh, how many? How'd you know how many of these blocks to pick? I just kind of guessed. And you might think, well, more is better. More is not always better because, as an example, just threw this extra clamp on here to show you. If you get everything so close together, then once again you're going to have a problem reaching in between there and the clamping. If you need to do that, you may just offset your clamps and put the handle out that way, put this handle this way, if you need to, uh, if you need to work it that way. We've got a variety of clamps. Let's see, uh, we name them all. This is for our friends and family. Let's see who all showed up to work today. Uh, David showed up. DJ, let's see. Oh, uh, PJ. Patty Joe's here, Kirk, Evelyn, Hazelwood, Tim, Caitlin, Adrienne, Jack. I think Jack brought two clamps today. And uh, Doug, working on this piece. Between this piece and the uh, frame we worked on, we've got, let's see how many are left over. One, two clamps left over. One of them's mine. One of them's not named. So to go back through the list again and make sure we got them all named that we want to. So if you didn't hear your name and you know you got a clamp, then it's uh, on the other piece that's inside drying already. So that's uh, that's the clamp report for today. I know y'all were real excited to get updated on that. So we're going to take this inside now and uh, we've got a tarp inside where we can lay it where it's nice and 72 degrees and uh let it start drying up it'll be we probably won't take it off the jig until it, we're ready we've got the ladder frame built and we're ready to start attaching this to the ladder frame because there are some instances you might have a little bit of spring back not too much on a laminate like this but we've also got to uh, shape this to the shape that we need it once it comes off the jig. So it'll be, it'll be sanded down and cleaned up on all four sides and then we'll draw the, uh, the uh, shape on it with the pattern and then uh, cut it and a little final sanding, I'll be ready to go on the boat. That'll about do it. <laughs> 